So today it is Friday, the first day that I am attending the Sydney Writers Festival and I'm about to embark on the journey to the festival. I'm very excited, it's going to be a really long day but a really great day. I'm attending a lot of events. I'm also having breakfast with author Lynette Noni who wrote Akane and I'm also going to be filming a special video with Tommy Wallach who is the author of We All Looked Up which I'm also really excited about but I thought I would just quickly say hi because I actually need to run. I need to go to the bus stop and get on a bus and get into the city now. So yeah, I'll catch up with you in a little while. I am now in the city at the rocks. I am just on my way to the Sydney Writers Festival office to pick up my staff pass to get me into the events and things like that. I'm here waiting for the Yonmi Park uh, Skate in North Korea event. And I'm here before everybody else. It's so quiet. It's so quiet. Look, but this, this is like a fully booked out event. So many seats. I'm having a quick snack before it starts. So I'm off for my second day at the Sydney Writers Festival today. It is Saturday and the rest of the events yesterday were really good. I especially loved the changing culture of copyright matters. That was the one in the evening that I went to and it was so good. I was talking about some of the proposed changes in legislation to do with like importation rules and copyright in Australia, which is most likely going to be extremely detrimental to the Australian publishing industry. So on the panel was a publisher, a bookseller, an author and on the other side of the argument was an economist and things got a little bit heated at the end. It was really entertaining though and I really did enjoy it. Yeah, there was just some people getting a little riled up and a bit of anger on the panel but yeah, it was really, really good. I did come home last night feeling not that great. I had like a splitting headache. I was absolutely exhausted. Such a long day so I decided to sleep in this morning which means that I'm missing a couple of events that I was hoping to go to this morning but tonight I'm going out to dinner with some of my lovely friends and a couple of authors so I was like, I'd rather not not feel like crap at that so I'm gonna have a good night's sleep So I just went to the markets on the rocks and I bought a couple of nice little rings. But moving on to the actual Sydney Writers Festival now. I did miss the other event that I was hoping to go to, but I'm just gonna have a walk around, see what there is to see. Might take a look into the Glee Books section as well. up with the Sydney Writers Festival for today and at the moment we're just heading to Dimmix before moving on to dinner with a bunch of other lovely bookish people and authors which is going to be a lot of fun.
It is Sunday morning, the final day of the Sydney Writers' Festival, and the most exciting thing is that today is the Royal Institute of All Day YA. So we have DingCon and the other young adult events that are happening today. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. I'm just outside the bus stop now, so I'm just going to quickly get all my crap together and then head on into the city and meet up with people and maybe have breakfast, possibly. I'm running a little bit late today.